In today's video we'll be connecting blues guitar solo with blues chords. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video and let's get straight to the point. First of all, you have to master your chords. You have to be able to play the basic 12 bar blues chord progression on the guitar without really thinking about it. We're gonna be playing our blues in A and our chords will be A dominant 7th chord, D 7th chord and E dominant 7th chord which are the 1, the 4, and the 5. And this is actually all you have to know to start playing the blues. In this example we'll be using these specific shapes for each chord and I'm sure you already know some of them. For A7 we'll be playing this shape. So this is our root, this is our flat 7, 9, and five. So I like to play this chord with my thumb on the low A, but you can experiment with playing the open A string as well. For the D7 chord, we'll be using this shape. This is the root, this is the major third, the flat seven, and the nine. Well, this shape is a really common shape in blues and funk music. I'm sure you already heard this type of things on many many famous records. And for E7 we'll be playing this one. This is the root, major third, flat seven and the root again. Well this shape always reminds me of rock and roll music and the Beatles. So you want to be able to play the 12 bar blues progression using these chords. I'll show you. The second step is to learn this little melody or this solo if you want. It starts on the root, then we play this classic hammer on from the minor third to the major third. And then grab our fifth and sixth on the second string. And then the last note will be the root again on the top E string. And also we'll, we're gonna be playing the, the E note here on the second string. So this is a double stop. And a little slide if you want. Or 
or you can play without the slide. And then we repeat the whole melody, everything stays the same except for the last note. We'll be playing our roots one octave lower, here, so. So the whole melody sounds like this. The final step consists in mixing our melody with the chords. You may have already noticed that all the chord shapes I showed you share the same note on the top. We'll be using this note to connect our melody with the chords. Let's say we start the melody and this note. The fifth, instead of playing just a single note, we want to play it with the chord at the same time, like this. So you may want to first learn the transition, practice the transition. So you may want to loop this little phrase here. Just practice the transition first. The second chord, the same thing, different chord. The same thing here, practice the transition first. And the third chord, the same thing. So this whole example sounds like this. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you learned something from it and please help me by subscribing to my channel and have a great day!